Uncle Nino for me is history. A lot of people don't know absolutely that Nino Farina was the first winner of the Grand Prix. First Formula One champion, and he was a fantastic driver, he was a hero for Italy. If I have to describe my uncle Nino, I think he was a gentleman driver, but always fearless. He was a gentle one, a style one, a man with a one love in his life, his wife. His wife was calling him always El Me Nino. El Me Nino in, in Piedmontese dialect means mine Nino. I was told that uh, Nino uh, had a special uh, uh, relation with my father and my grandfather. The first time he, he raced, actually, was with my grandfather. They made a race together, and it's fantastic. I can see the, the joy of Nino. There were like two Ninos. So when he was driving, he was a, he was a star. When he was out of the track, he was a very simple, very sober, very understated, very elegant, like my grandfather Battista. And he was elegant like my father Sergio. And I hope to be elegant as all of them. One of the biggest emotions in my life. To see this red car, I was really a child and uh, it was really incredible. There goes Farina. And is there a doctor in the house? There most certainly is. We felt driven to create this homage to Pinin Farina's racing son, Nino Farina. Uh, for us, it was a further opportunity to explain even more how this family was so important in uh, the overall uh, growth of the automotive scene, in the, which was starting in the 1930s in Turin, Piemonte and Italy. Uh, for us, it was very personal. The Nino Farina project originated from the idea that after having brought to life Battista, which was the car that Battista Farina was dreaming to realize, uh, we also thought that his nephew, Nino Farina, this legendary race driver, would have been the perfect driver for Battista and would have wished to drive this car. And we tried to put the spirit of Nino Farina in this car, uh, envisioning the car with the same color of the race car that he was using for his races, also putting on the side number one, celebrating the victory of the first Formula One championship in 1950, and uh, also imagining that at some point in time maybe Nino Farina could take a ride with Battista, with his uncle Battista, and the two of them taking the road of a marvelous journey together somewhere in Italy. When you look at Nino Farina's life and racing style, there were no boundaries. If I would have met Nino Farina, I would have also liked to introduce to him the team of Automobili Pinin Farina, so the designer and engineers that created that car. And I think that he would see how the passion has stayed so strong in this brand even after 100 years. And I believe that Nino Farina would have been impressed with our work. And I have no doubt he would have driven Battista at his maximum. Or, like it was said at the time, guidava come se avesse il diavolo alle spalle e gli angeli davanti. I am sure that uh... Nino you know, would be happy to know that we are doing the special edition of the car for him. This car is a piece of art, so I'm sure that Uncle Nino will love this car, absolutely. Pushing on the pedal to reach the maximum speed. I'm sure he will love that. With this car, uh, Nino Farina is alive again.